Alright, David Harry here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use iMazing to back up or to download the apps from your iPhone or your iPad. In this instance I'm going to use an iPad and I'm going to back them up to my Mac computer. Now you can do this with any Mac. Although in this instance, I'm using a Mac Mini M1, which means I can also launch most of these apps as well on the M1. Now, this will also be the same as well for the MacBook Pro M1 and the MacBook Air M1. But nonetheless, even if you haven't got one of the new Macs, you can still back off your iOS apps from your iPhone or your iPad to your Mac. So what I'm going to do here first off is to go to Safari. Now just a heads up, I've already been doing this, so I might actually get little things pop up a bit quicker here because I'm actually just reinstalling the same thing. So I've deleted it now so I can redo a tutorial with it. So certain things might go a bit quicker for me because I had already had this on my system. So in Safari, just type in iMazing.com. There we go. Let me just go full screen here. Now what we need to do is go to free download. Now the thing here, we get the option for a 14 day free trial as well, which is really cool. So click on free download, and then that should start downloading. There we go. It's gonna start downloading the .dmg file. So let me just come a bit smaller on this so I can see what's going on. In fact, what I'll do here, it might take a minute or so to download. I'm not too sure which internet connection I'm on at the moment. So let me just speed through this until the DMG file is downloaded. Okay, so now I've got that file downloaded. Now the thing is, I don't know if the first time you do this, I can't remember if you have to fill something in to download. And maybe it's just done the download straight away for me because it knew I'd already downloaded it before. I can't remember. But nonetheless, if there is some kind of like, you know, you have to sign up thing, then just do that. And it'll get you to this point where the DMG file is downloaded. So what I'm going to do now is just minimize the browser and then going to come here to the downloads. Oops, not the downloads there. <laughs> I'll go to the downloads there. And then as we can see, iMazing2 for Mac.dmg. So we'll just click on that. Now that's going to launch that DMG for installation. So let it do its thing. There we go. Then we're going to just say, yeah, let's put that into the applications folder. So that's going to go off then and install the program to the applications folder. Okay. So that's done that. Now, if I come down to Launchpad here, there we go. It's just populated. So what I'm going to do is launch iMazing here. Now, it's saying here, you know, do we want to, you know, launch this app? It's been downloaded from the internet. It's fine. So let's say OK to that. In fact, let me minimize that as well. OK, so there we go with iMazing now launching. So what it's going to do here, it's going to ask you, do you want to do the trial or pay for it? Now, I was already on the trial anyways. So what you should do, if at this point it's asking you to sign up, then yes, just sign up and go for the trial. But I'm going to do continue trial here. So there we go. Now it's saying, please connect an, I, please connect an Apple device. Now, as you can see up here in the corner, this is saying... You know it's it's caught my ipad that's only because i've had it on the system before and it knows that my ipad is available but at the moment it's trying to connect to it through wi-fi but i would strongly suggest that you connect via usb so at this point just connect whatever device you're trying to plug in via usb so i'm just going to go to my ipad here hold on i'm just going to connect it via usb so if we give that a second, that should register itself to the software. If you give us a sec, as we can see, it's now come up with the USB icon there. So that's what we really need is USB. As you could see, it already attached to my iPad via the Wi-Fi, but you're always best to do a hard cable wherever possible because you'll just get better speeds and all the rest of it. Now at this point, if we just click on the side here like that, and then what we'll do, we'll see all the stuff on the iPad. Now, this software can do all kinds of stuff like backing off the whole of the iPad to, you know, your hard drive and stuff. But I'm not interested in that just for this quick tutorial because I want to go straight to the apps to download the apps. So in this list here, once you've got your device connected, 
just come down and go to apps here so i'm going to click on apps then we're going to see all the apps associated with the device then come down here to where it says manage apps so i'll click on manage apps and then we're going to see two lists at the top here device and library now i think what this means is device is the apps that are actually installed on the device right now but i think library is actually all of the apps that you have access to so library is looking at the app store i believe when you do this so i'm going to stay on library because there's very specific stuff that i want to get my hands on and stuff but as we can see here it's already remembered you know because it's been on my system before that i've downloaded certain things now what i'm going to do here is just scroll down to the bottom and although it's already downloaded YouTube before, what I'm gonna do is delete it there. And let's pretend that this is a fresh, clean look at YouTube. So right now, none of these apps have been downloaded as far as the system is concerned. So what I'm gonna do is click on YouTube there. Then at the side, we've got the cloud icon. So we click on the cloud icon. And then what that's going to do is going to download the app from the app store directly now which is why it's important that your mac is also maybe connected with a hardwired cable i mean if you've got really mega fast wi-fi it should be cool anyway but i always use like you know ethernet cables and stuff and usb cables wherever possible for all this also <clears throat> also when i just did that to download it you may get something that pops up asking maybe for your password for your iCloud and stuff just to verify that it's you that you're logging in to download the app and what have you so as you can see there it's now downloaded so what we do here whilst we're on that app while it's highlighted right click like that and then we've got the option at the bottom here to export .ipa well, that .ipa file is actually the proper raw installation file for an iOS app. So I'm gonna click on that. So it's gonna ask me where I wanna download it. Now for convenience, I'm gonna put it on the desktop just so I can find that, you know, find it really quickly. Now, when you're downloading these things, you can download them to wherever you wanna put them to. You can even put them to an external drive or anything. But for now, just the desktop for me. So I'm gonna hit save there. And as you can see, there's the app there. So what I'm gonna do is just minimize this. Now, at this point, we have just retrieved an app from an iPad, exactly the same for an iPhone. So no matter what Mac you're on, you can do this with any Mac, get at all your stuff and then basically copy the apps. So you might wanna copy them for like, you know, safekeeping or for quick access or what have you. So you can do stuff when you're offline. However, because I am on an M1 Mac, as in a Mac Mini, Mac Minis or anything with the M1 chip, like the new, um, let's say the new MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro, they are all compatible with the iOS apps. They don't necessarily run them all, but they are compatible with them. So what I'm gonna do here is run this YouTube app. Now, the thing is, I already know that this works because I've already done it before. And there's a there's a reason why I'm gonna you know show the YouTube app, and I'm a, I'm actually gonna do a separate video about the YouTube app, only because people are not gonna find out about the YouTube app through this video of the searching for YouTube, as it were. Now it'll say here like YouTube two app. It's just because I installed it twice. So let me just double click that, and YouTube is now going to launch. Now here's the cool thing here. I must have, I don't know, I must have put about 15 apps in so far from the iPad and none of them will go full screen. They all appear in a small box like this, but with YouTube, it's brilliant. Look at this. It will go full screen like that with YouTube, which is brilliant. Now to keep this, you know, tutorial as short as I can, I'm not going to carry on at this point showing anything about YouTube. What I will do though is have a link, uh, maybe pop up now or it might have popped up earlier, but there'll be one in the description showing you the YouTube app running because it's really cool because if you're used to using YouTube as an app as opposed to it being in a browser, you may want to use the app version. And of course, just, just to show you, if we go to the app store here, and if I type YouTube in the app store, hold on, if I can spell it properly, so if I go to YouTube on the App Store, as we'll see, there's no Mac YouTube app, 
I mean, I've, I've not been using Mac properly, so I wouldn't have known whether the app was available in Mac format for YouTube, but there obviously isn't. Now, here's the other thing. If I go to iPhone and iPad apps, despite the fact that YouTube is available, obviously, for the iPhone and the iPad, you can't download it. So for whatever reason, you know, you can't download the YouTube app straight away to your Mac. So this is actually pretty cool because you can now use the YouTube app by doing it through a download from iMazing. Okay, so in keeping with trying to get this video as short as I can, I will end it here. So hopefully anyway, you know, this guide is gonna be useful for other people to show them at least how to just get to the apps section in iMazing to get their stuff off their iPhone and their iPad. And obviously, as I've shown here, there are particular apps that you can't download any other way anyway that you can get access to. So how cool is this? Anyways, if you've liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, maybe consider subscribing to my channel and getting all of that bell notification icon thing. And you may also want to check out my playlists for me Mac stuff and also me iPad stuff. And so the last thing for me to say right now is, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.